What's happening, everybody? It's Chris with Lone Wolf DIY. Today, I'm going to be putting in some work on my partition wall. I got some LED ideas, got some color schemes I want to try out. I'm going to see if I can cover up that ugly ass air conditioner. And I also want to manage all my cables. So all them danger noodles laying all over the floor won't trip me up until I die on the floor. I don't know. I already said four. We're also going to be working on the PTZ camera in the corner. PTZ camera is a 360 degree camera where I can see in 4K and it's amazing, man. I can see all the way down each side of the alley and I don't have to worry about any kind of blind spots. It's super cool. So stay tuned, man. Check it out. One of my other videos, you saw me set up a Cat5 cable and run it out to the corner of the yard. Now I'm actually getting ready to put the camera up there. And I'm not just gonna put a bull camera, I'm gonna stick up one of them PTZ cameras. It's gonna be so cool. That way I can get a nice wide range of the alley there. I wanted it to be up high enough to be able to see at a distance, but also to not just have it at a eye level where somebody could just tinker with it. So what I did was I just picked up this extra four by four and I cut a little hole at the top of the screen. And then I'm just gonna stick this up through the top and it's gonna be like a, like a little watchtower. And then I'll screw the camera to that. Well, I'm getting ready to hang up my G4 PTZ, but I figured before I do that, and I gotta take it out of the box anyway, I just do a little unboxing video and we would check it out together. Ooh. All right, we have a bullet, one of those bulletproof things that you slide in your vest pocket. This is, dude, this is heavy duty for sure. Ooh. Here's our instructions. Seems pretty easy. We got some uh, codes there that we can scan and I'm sure it'll show us exactly what we need to do. Ooh, man, that looks nice. That's a fancy package. It's like your favorite cologne at Ross. Heavy, heavy. So this is our hardware box. Let's see what's in here. Looks really nice. I really dig the packaging. All right. Is there a bowling ball in here? Maybe a severed head? It does look like something you would see in Star Wars. I'm sure that's real original. I bet every single person that's opened one of these up says the same thing. Okay. This is all very, very heavy duty, man. I like this like powder coating. So they made it really easy. I got my instructions here. I read them over, very simple to follow along with. And then we've got our mount that we're gonna start with. And it's got a nice convenient level right there for us. And I'm gonna stick it on here, run on here nice and straight. Mark the holes. Okay. Now our next step is to put the housing and these two screws on. It's got a nice guide on it. So we tightened up our two screws with our Allen wrench there. And now we're gonna move on to the next step. It wants to feed our cable through here. So I unscrewed this out of the center where your cable's gonna come through. And then it's got this little like, it looks like a queen from a chess piece. And you take the little head off of here, and then it's got a little plug. Looks like this is for insulation, and uh, it comes apart, so that's nice. You don't have to like re splice your cable. Go get my cable. And here's our cable, <laughs> a little tangled. Just a little bit, a little tangled. Feed that through. So we feed our cable through the back. When that comes through, and you'll feed that down. But oh, before we do that, we want to make sure to put that little insulating grommet thing back in first. This first. Yeah. Did I do it wrong? Yeah, I did it wrong. Let's try again. Oh, come on, everybody. You got to let me mess up every once in a while. Gonna get it. I'm gonna figure it out. Here we go, everybody. I think he's got it. Oh. Huh? Maybe? 
Yeah, that's good. Easy. Our next step is to get the optical hung up. So it's got our cable and then it's got that little, this thing that's supposed to help us, I think. I don't know what that red arrow means. I bet that's where you line it up. That where you, aha, yeah. That's where you line it up and then you're gonna twist it and it's gonna lock. This thing is really pretty. I feel very fortunate for being able to tinker with this. All right. I like that. It really helps. I wish they would do something like this for ceiling fans. It can't be this easy. God damn, dude. All this stuff is legit super easy to hang up. And this thing is gorgeous. I'm going to film the sunset. Uh, we just have to put the lid on it right here. And then we're going to put uh, three screws in this thing, which I really like these things. These are like, you know, it's got little grips on there. It also has the Allen key, but you don't have to use it. You can uh, just use your finger. So if you need to get in there and change something out, that's really easy. All right, I lied. If you want to get the screw in there far enough, you have to use the Allen key because it kind of rests. It sits inside the hole there. According to this arrow. Okay. Ooh, doggy, that's so cool. Plastic off of your eyeballs. I look like I'm on a 90s album cover. That is beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful piece of machinery. Very cool. All right, now I'm gonna get down and I'm gonna plug it into my switch and see what happens. So I got my PTZ all hung up. Now I wanna check it out on a laptop and see all the cool features that I can do on the computer here. There is a lot more specifications and features and all kinds of stuff that you can do here that you just can't do on your phone. So I'm gonna check that out now. Okay, so I'm on unify.ui.com. I'm gonna click on my UDM Pro and then I'm gonna click on the Protect Camera app. Now I can see me all over the place. Devices. Let's check out the Alley Cat. That's our PTZ obviously from our icon i got a bunch of stuff offline because i'm still remodeling but that's not going to stop me from goofing with this camera let's see if there's any uh turd nuggets up to no good here so all the features on here are pretty much the same that's new the arrow keys so it's kind of like a video game a little bit like you're using the directional pad to move around. I'm going to take a peek on down the alley here and see how good this camera looks. There's a bird up there. Oh, wow. That is so awesome, dude. So like if you're wanting to pinpoint something sooner than later, you can use your mouse button and you just left click and it puts it right in the center of the screen. So I'm going to zoom in. How far can we zoom in? 22 times? Okay. Well, let's check it out. Let's see if we can uh, see what it's doing up there. All right. Well, it's focusing up on the power lines, and that's no point. Ah! Let's check out this tree over here. I want to see what the leaves look like. Let's try to zoom in all crazy far and see what those leaves look like over there. See how much detail we can get. It is windy again. All right. Now I did notice it said 720, so let's let's change it up to the 4K. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Did you see that difference? Look, now I can see all these little these little pots, seed pots in there. I can see all the little individual needles on the on the tree. 
Wow, man. That's what I'm used to right there. That's 720. Wow. Wow, man. That looks pretty clean. I am impressed. So now I can see if I do need to see somebody's license plate or something like that, that I have definitely plenty of high quality definition to be able to see the numbers or the num what lack thereof, if they even have a license plate. Oh, oh I want to see this bird. I want to zoom in on this bird. Stop. 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 Click on. Click on. Don't move. Don't move. Come on. Come on. Don't move. Come on. I want to see what you're doing. Wouldn't it be hilarious if this bird just shit? Wow. Look at that, man. You can see it blinking. Oh, please shit. I'm going to sit here until the bird shits. Ah! You can even see the little line going around the power line. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm going to put this can of... I almost ate that fly. I'm going to put this can of sunscreen out there in the alleyway and see if we can zoom in and read whatever's on the can there. All right. Let's see if it works. My Wi-Fi is working lovely via my building-to-building -building bridge and my super awesome AP inside the tiny house. That's powering all the content you see today. All right, there they are. Boop. All right, 22 times here. Let's get in there. It's really... Okay. Braden's free, clear spray. So I can see most of it, but man, that is like, it's very far away. Now I'm going to check out that PTZ camera on my phone app here. I really like how you can, uh, oh, is that me? Look at that. That's me right there. Don't look at my license plate. There's me moving around. Nice. Now let's hit the, all right. So that button tells us exactly when all the magic is happening. Who's this? You see this? Going for a stroll, huh? I like that though. If I wouldn't have looked at this, I wouldn't have seen that. And it's got a little picture of him right here. Sneaky, sneaky. There's Merle. All right, so camera deal here. <laughs> nice, sweet. It's like an app game, you know, on your phone when you play those crappy pay to win apps. That's all anybody ever makes anymore. And your damn microtransactions. Kiss my ass with your microtransactions. Remember in my day, you got one skin. You had to wait for the sequel for the extra characters. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love it. I like this little directional pad thing. And it's really smooth. Look at that. It's very smooth. So you can take a picture. And what else can we do? Can I change the screen resolution? There it is, man. All right, so let's try 1080p. Uh, this doesn't have 4K. Laptop had 4K, that's different. Oh, wow, wow. Look at, the, look at the sun on top of the shade screen. So you can even choose when to use your 1080p, only when the app is in session, when I'm connected to Wi-Fi or all the time. And that's probably so you can save space on your hard drive. Cool. I didn't even mean to do that. So if you hit the little buttons on the bottom there, you can delete your clip. You can export your clip. Take a snapshot. What happens if we take a snapshot? Oh, that's great, man. I feel extra special with that camera up there. I feel real safe. You know, I don't have to worry about somebody coming around here and jacking my stuff. And messing with my pets, my kitties. Last thing I want is somebody to come back here and snatch my kitty away. Ha! Ah. So I'm working on my backdrop today. I've got some Bondo that I use to fill in that heavy seam. It's the same thing I do when I'm building my countertops, when I'm doing epoxy, because this way I can depend on it not to crack later. If you ever need something really thick, this is the best way to go. The nail holes around the project, I'm just gonna use some regular old wood putty. This is just plastic wood from DAP. Uh, once I get this all sanded down and nice and smooth, I'm going to get started on the painting, man. It's going to look super badass.
That drives quick. Red paint's a little triggering, if you know what I mean. I don't know, man. I had all kinds of good ideas for this. Different colors and things. I'm sure I could change it up later, but I wanted to try this red out. You know, I was going to put it on the wall in there, and then I was like, woo, it's a lot of red. So I went with that black, but I still want to keep this, and I got some other ideas for it, too. Look at that. You can barely tell the difference between these two panels. Look how nice and clean that transition is. <laughs> I figure why not? Hey, why not? Okay, now that the foil and the sides are painted white for a nice reflection, I'm gonna take the little 45 degree thing that I cut and I'm gonna nail it right on the inside. Then I'm gonna hang my LED strip that way so it'll project the light onto the wall instead of just going straight forward into this LED. Ooh, I barely fixed it. Dude, look how cool that is. I am legitimately stoked for how badass that turned out. Man, that looks cool. Doesn't it look like something out of a John Carpenter horror movie or something? It's like one of those monoliths you're finding out in the middle of the desert right now. Now all I gotta do is put some LEDs in there and just get it to glow, man. It's gonna look so cool. It just keeps getting better. I've never put these LED strips out before. This is pretty cool. You wanna see the new lights? Hit them. Okay. What do you think? How cool looking is that? Man, I am impressed with myself. I am really excited to try to figure out some different stuff to put on the backdrop here. But there's all these different cool color presets to choose from. Let's hit the lights. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, so cool. It's green, blue, woo, blue. Wow. I don't know, man. Red is still pretty mean. I think that's a really good one. That is a badass looking color, man. This project turned out a lot cooler than I was expecting. Well, it's the next morning, and I was very excited to get on my phone there and take a look at my app and see over the nighttime and the early morning uh, what was going to show up in the alley. And Well, I was pretty disappointed, <laughs> but... I mean, I wasn't sure what I was going to catch, but I did have my suspicions. And uh, it was pretty much just my cats running amok in the middle of the night, taking a break for a little bath. As soon as I finished the camera install, like an entire family outing came through the alley with like dogs and kids and everything. There's no reason for you to be walking through there. There's tall grass, there's like snakes and stuff. So. Typically, the people that are back there are scoping the place out because uh, they like to break in through the back door. But speaking of suspicion, around 2 in the morning, there was a truck pulling into the alley. I know I talk a lot about the alley here in pretty much every single one of my videos, but it is my biggest concern. I mean, it's practically my backyard. And what I hope happened with this camera was that he saw the little like ring of death around the thing and realized he uh, had made a mistake. And, uh, he was not gonna have a good time coming back here. I have, you know, signs like this that say that I'm recording. Uh, I like the fact that they can see that big camera. That's the stuff that's gonna keep them away, not hiding it, nobody cares, and they're off with your stuff. The only person that cares is you, and you're gonna be very disappointed. A lot of people like the idea of a hidden camera, like they're gonna catch somebody in the act and make them feel real dumb and prosecute them until the end of time. By the time you do catch them, they've already taken what they've wanted. Uh, they've done the damage to your house. Hopefully nobody got hurt. But the cops, they won't do anything about it. They won't even look at the footage. That guy that does the glitter bomb videos on YouTube, he even talks about it. You got to look out for yourself. That's the whole my whole reason for doing this and my whole reason I wanted to show you because I can't stress how easy it is to plug this stuff in. It was way easier than uh, a cheapo camera set I bought off of Amazon. And then my other camera system that I have has nowhere near the capabilities that this 
camera system, network system, Wi-Fi boosting, all kinds of really cool stuff. It just didn't have those features. So I'm really looking forward into exploring the features and learning more about them because I know there's a lot to gain from them. So thanks everybody for joining me. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying uh, building the channel and making some stuff and sharing my experiences. Uh, I think somebody at my level with technology uh, could have a lot to gain from this kind of content. If I can do this, you can absolutely do this. So please like and subscribe and hit the notification in the corner. It really helps me out and I really want to continue building this thing. So leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to see. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I hope to see you later. What do you think of the new digs, Kiki? Huh? Yeah, it looks dope, huh?